GM foods or genetically modified foods um, are most of our foods that uh, crops are grown with today in the United States. European Union in Europe, they do not allow genetically modified foods to be, most of them, to be exported to Europe from America. It is because the genes inside the plants have been changed and they've changed to allow the plant to not be fertile where farmers have to buy the same seeds year after year after year uh, in new seeds because they can't use the previous ones because they are sterile, they're not fertile. This is so the genetically modified plants do not mate with the wild plants near them. Let's say corn. Corn is one of the biggest genetically modified foods and if you eat if you eat corn tortillas, corn chips, corn bread, anything packaged, anything packaged on the inside of a supermarket is going to be genetically modified. Um, Roundup is a type of herbicide that kills weeds. That is now genetically inserted into most plants and most crop plants like wheat and rye and um, just all your grains and corn. So Roundup is actually a chemical that kills weeds and they take the gene of the Roundup and they have inserted it into all of our crop plants. So we are technically eating that when we eat the foods and that's the concern about genetically modified foods. Um, other concerns are um, a lot, you know, inserting genes into the um, vegetables that um, allow the vegetables to be grown bigger and um, not be eaten by pests. So pesticides are also a part of the situation. Pesticides are inserted into your vegetables and fruits so that um, insects don't eat them, which is good because we get more food. However, we don't know how that affects our bodies over time. So there is a big um, debate on whether genetically modified foods are acceptable or not. And if you want to look it up, you can just look online and look at all the different types of information because you're going to have extremes at both ends on whether it's okay or not and then you know most of the time everything ends up in the middle where um, we haven't found out that it's extremely harmful for us but organic naturally grown foods that don't have any pesticides or chemicals in them that that's the better way to go because organic foods actually contain 50% more they've done studies on this they contain 50% more vitamins and minerals in their flesh than conventionally grown foods. Conventionally grown foods are foods made with pesticides um, because the soil is healthier. And remember, plants take up their minerals and vitamins through the roots into the flesh of the plants. So the healthier the soil is, the healthier your fruit and vegetable is going to be. So healthy soil is really important for organic foods.